legitimate for the government to limit people's choices of consumption based on the harm the substance might cause them. A policy argument from the mouth of a machine. IBM's project debater is an artificial intelligence capable of reading and learning policy ideas and then making its own speeches. It can even debate against a human being. Sometimes we're being asked, you know, whether this system really understands okay, what it says. And certainly the answer is no, in the usual sense. But, but when we ask ourselves, what does it mean that we understand something, I'm not sure that we have a clear answer to that as well. Debater knows 10 billion sentences, learned from databases or arguments made by humans. It then recognizes which ideas are in favor of a position or against it, and calculates the most accurate way to speak. Ultimately, the way it works isn't drastically different from the human mind itself. The mind works on cognitive heuristics, pattern recognition abilities evolved over millions of years, very similar to the computer's algorithms itself. Heuristics are a thing like intuition, emotions, and gut feelings, the brain's shortcuts for rational or conscious analysis. So people are gaining insights from the way the brain works, or at least some understanding we have about how the brain works, and then we try to capture that in the models that uh, we use in artificial intelligence. Cannabis can help cure people and reduce long-lasting pain, hence must be legalized and supervised. Debater is still very different than a human being. It can only assess information that it's given, and only in the context of for or against arguments. And it won't be replacing lawyers or politicians just yet. People are typically still much more effective and more convincing. So as long as we, as human beings, are not machines, and do not base all of our decision on precise ana analytics and so on, there is room for, for individuals. But robots and their artificial brains are becoming impossibly complex by the day. Many algorithms are self-taught or learned, and the engineers themselves don't know how they work. Machines today are capable of recognizing human emotion, creating art and music, and even passing self-awareness tests, all without being conscious. And each new feat blurs the line between calculation and thinking. Ariel Levin Waldman, I-24 News. New technologies bring the potential for good and for evil.